Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be skim coating the second section of this bedroom ceiling. I've got plenty of tips and tricks and techniques that I'm going to show you coming up in this video. I'll also show you the tools and materials for mixing and applying the skim coat to your ceiling. And if you missed the first round of skim coating where I covered up this painted popcorn ceiling, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell notification. Let's get into this video. I'll be using a USG all-purpose joint compound for the skim coating, a 16-inch stainless steel mud pan and a 14-inch blue steel taping knife, paint mixer and a 20-volt cordless drill. You want to thin the joint compound down with water and mix it to about a thick yogurt consistency. Now we're ready to skim coat this seal. I'm starting in the corners. You don't want to pile the mud up there. You want to keep it nice and tight. Since we're not redoing these walls, we're just skim coating and retexturing this ceiling. You want to try and fill all the voids. Corners are one of the most tricky parts when it comes down to the final product. Alright, so I'm going to load the mud again on one side. Again, just load it up on the side. Yeah, you're not getting the 14 inches, but you can have a nice consistent skim coat. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm holding the mud pan underneath when I'm pulling. No ridges. And anything that's falling off is going right back into the mud pan. I'm just loading the ceiling up. I'm going to come back and smooth all of this back out in a moment. Let me know in the comments why your ceiling or wall needs a skim coat. I'll leave a link to the how to skim coat a ceiling playlist in the YouTube card above now. Again, it's all in the placement of mud on your taping knife. It's about the consistency and it's also about getting good coverage. You can master all three of those. You're going to get a nice skim coat. Um, I'm not even going to sand after this second coat of skimming. I'm going to just do a little scraping and get right into the skip trowel texture. A little tricky going around the uh, light box. No big deal though. Got a little couple areas to scrape. Don't want to get that in the mud. Get these wires out of my way. You definitely don't want to get mud all in the electrical box. Just take your time around stuff like this. You'll benefit later from it. Just like keeping a nice tight skim on all this ceiling. If you pile up the mud, you're just going to create more work for yourself. So work clean and it's a lot easier. All right, just giving it back out. Pressure on the left side. Lifting on the right slightly. That keeps a line from forming. That's usually where people make a mistake when skim coating. They just leave too many lines. Then you go to sand it. Then you got to add mud. The ceiling's looking like glass. That's what you want. Nice tight ceiling. It will take 24 hours to let it dry. Just overnight really. So it's probably about 16 to 18 hours before I come back 
and do the skip trial texture. But at the task at hand, we're going to keep on skimming, pulling. Got all the mud on the right side of the knife, so I'm not piling it up. I know you see a lot of these little air bubbles. Those do a go away when I come back across it, especially on a second skim coat. A first skim coat is going to have a few more air bubbles. I'm going to smooth it out. I'm putting the pressure on the left side, lifting on the right. Then when I switch around, it's opposite, but you get the idea, especially when you're in it, you can see what works and what doesn't. If you come back and watch this video after trying your own skim coating, you're going to learn a lot more just from actually doing it. Yeah, that's starting to dry already. screw hole because sometimes it's not the easiest to find where those screw holes are. Again, I'm paying special attention to the corners and also around this AC duct. It's important to try and work clean, especially when you're just redoing a ceiling and not the walls. Minimal mud on the knife, pulling away from the corners. You don't want any build up on the back of your knife either. One more time against this corner. I'm pushing pretty tight up so it fills any voids. Smooth it out, pressure on the left, lifting on the right. All those air bubbles are going out, all the lines are going away. And coming up, I'll show you how I skim coat the final section of this bedroom ceiling. I'll also give you a sneak peek of how I apply the skip trial texture to the skim coated ceiling. 
all the tools you'll need to apply a skip trowel texture and all the materials and tools you'll need to mix the skip trowel texture. If you watch this whole video, leave a hashtag drywall tube in the comments. That way I know who's watching these videos. And if you want to step up your drywall, texturing, or painting game, be sure to hit that round icon in the middle of the screen now to keep up with all my latest videos. If you've got a friend that's a contractor or DIYer, be sure to share this video with them on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching.